it's the special something like we talked about the other day that uh, separates guys. And I think both of these kids uh, have those special something. How difficult is it to get two kids at the quarterback position to commit in the same class in this day and age? Just opportunity. All people want is to be treated fairly and have opportunity. And I think that's exactly what we have here. We have an opportunity to win a job at one of the best institutions in college football, one of the best brands in the United States, and one of the offenses that is arguably top five to play quarterback in in the entire country. So I think opportunity. You mentioned this is a pro-style offense that, that goes fast. I mean, how does Chubba kind of fit maybe the, the mold of what people think is a pro-style quarterback? Or do you guys have a different definition of what a pro-style quarterback is? No. I mean, he's a guy who's multiple. He's a guy who can make throws from the pocket, can throw the ball downfield, throws the ball from different platforms. He can extend plays when things break down. Uh, he, he's not a seven-on-seven -seven quarterback. And I think that's what, in, in this process, so many people get carried away with seven-on-seven -seven quarterbacks. I want 11-on-11 11 11 quarterbacks. I want guys that when you put the tape on, you say, man, man, he makes plays. And when you put his tape on, that's what you see. You see a guy making plays. When you ask people in the state that, that he lives in and he competes first, uh, you know, tell me about him, they say he makes plays. And at the end of the day, that's the kind of guy you want back there. That's the kind of guy you want with the ball in his hands at the end of the game. And that's the kind of guy you want uh, to be your quarterback. How were you guys able to, to execute your, your plan to, to nab two, two quarterbacks in such a short period of time? As Coach Norvell said, a lot of times quarterbacks are guys who have ended their recruitment early on in the, in the process. Just be who we are. There's no secret potion to making it happen. It's just be who you are. I'm going to be who I am every day that I wake up. Coach is going to be who he is every day. And the opportunity here is, in my opinion, I mean, the best in the country. You get to play at Florida State, one. You get to play in one of the top offenses in college football, two. And we have an open competition, right? We have guys here who have proven they can get it done. But at the end of the day, we want to compete. So I think uh, the competition and the situation, the brand, the university, uh, I think it all kind of melted into the perfect situation. How important were guys like Ron and Odell for you, for you to, to get you familiar with what was happening here at Florida State and with this, this current class? Oh, critical. I mean, when I got the job here, I was driving up, and, and Odell calls me. He goes, when you get here, call me so you can – I'll let you into the building. I'll show you around. And uh, he took me to eat the first night I was here. He would call me about every three hours the first day I was here. Is everything okay? You need this kid's number. You need that kid's number. Uh, so he was – he was essential. He's a, it, it is proud, and it is an honor to work with him, but he is proud to be a Seminole. And you can see it every day that you look into his eyes. He is proud to be here. How do you assess Tate? Does he fit the, the, the same mold, playmaker, 11-11 on quarterback when you turn on the bill? No question. Tate has, a, has an elite arm. He has a, a extreme accuracy. He's the son of a coach. So he's going to come here with the middle makeup to be able to learn the offense, pick it up, and be an impact player early uh, because he's the son of a coach. And he's just kind of – they're completely different personalities. One is laid back and one is more outgoing, which is good because you want – different personalities in your quarterback room and Tate's a guy who like I said he's the son of a coach he's got a strong arm he's accurate uh, he's sound fundamentally and uh, he's a guy who needs to put on a little bit of weight but that comes with college it comes with 99 percent of players but uh, I'm excited to get him here early do you mold it after each individual player or do you have a specific philosophy you like to follow in, in developing a quarterback our philosophy is create one-on-ones and uh, that's going to tailor around what, who our quarterback is. If our quarterback's a guy who can make a safety miss, we're going to create a one-on-one -on -one in the running game with our quarterback versus that safety. If our quarterback's a guy who can locate the ball in the back shoulder versus a one-on-one -on -one corner, then we're going to seven-man pro and isolate somebody and find the best one-on-one -on -one for him. So uh, we're completely going to adapt our, situ our position and our offensive style around that position because that is the most important position on an offense. In, in terms of like next order of business for you guys, well, where is it in terms of sitting down with the guys that you have on this roster at the quarterback room and, and, and re-recruiting them or talking to them and seeing where their heads at? Oh, I've already met with every quarterback in our roster. We've already been to dinner as a group. I mean, I'm already starting to build that relationship. I mean, that's the most important part is honesty and relationship. At the end of the day, uh, 
if you don't have the respect of your players, if they don't trust you, if they don't trust that you're going to be honest with them, then you can have all the X's and the O's you want. It doesn't matter. So to me, I'm in the stage, and I told them I haven't watched their film yet. I don't want to watch their film yet. I want to see it firsthand. I'll go back and watch it here in the next month or so. But right now, I want to create my own assumptions based off of practice of the type of player you are, the type of leader you are, how you practice, how you run around the practice field. I don't want to have anybody else tell me you know what this guy is. I want to make my own judgment, and I want to build my own relationship, and uh, it's a fresh start. Is that even more important when, when these are kids that have gone on third different head coach since they've been at this university? There's no question. The trust level for them, why should they trust me right now? This is their third coach, some guys' fourth offenses in four years here. You know, the, the trust factor shouldn't be there right now. They, But they're going to give me the opportunity to earn it. And I think that's what it boils down to is me doing everything I can to earn their trust, me doing everything I can to be as honest as I possibly can with them. And through that, a relationship's going to be built and uh, we can do something special. Adding this group of wide receivers to, to, the, to that room, what kind, of, what kind of talent does that infuse that, that group with? Oh, we're, we're extremely talented at the wideout room. I mean, this is Florida State. You know, you're always going to be extremely talented at those skill positions. And I, we, have an, we have a ridiculously talented wideout group coming in and an extremely talented wideout group on our roster. So I'm extremely excited to get to run this offense with those guys.